Well, the kidney cyst is technically just a, a spherical structure that forms in the kidney that's filled with fluid. They're universally benign. If we can determine that they are truly cysts, then we're called simple cysts, we leave them alone unless they're symptomatic. If they have a solid component, then they could be something more dangerous like a kidney cancer, and so we investigate them further, and if they, we think that's not just a simple cyst, it's more likely a cancer, we'll remove it. Uh, there is a completely different entity from the sporadic kidney cyst that we see, and that's called polycystic kidney disease. That's a genetic problem. In that case, uh, given enough time, that process can completely replace the kidneys with cysts. The kidney function uh, diminishes significantly to the point where those patients oftentimes uh, need to be dialyzed or transplanted. There's speculation that, that um, the tubules inside the kidneys become blocked. And since there's fluid flowing through these tubules, uh, if there's a blockage, the fluid's coming in one end and can't get out the other, so it starts to expand this tubule, it starts to blow up like a balloon, and eventually forms a sac of fluid, a cyst, what we call a cyst. They start out to be microscopic and then they eventually, over a period of time, enlarge to the point where they can, can become 10 or 15 centimeters in diameter. It varies. Uh, if what we're dealing with are just sporadic renal cysts, oftentimes people have no idea they're there. Uh, usually if they get large enough to they can cause compression of adjacent organs, they can become symptomatic. An example would be if a, if a cyst forms in the upper portion of the left kidney, it can push up on the stomach, make it difficult for the stomach to fill, and that patient would report a symptom of what we call early satiety. Their stomach fills up early, they, they, they eat small amounts of food and they become full and they can't eat anymore. Uh, that's one potential symptom. Another uh, time in which cysts can become symptomatic is if they are enlarging quickly or if, they, if there's a hemorrhage into a cyst and it stretches the capsule of that cyst, it become, can become painful. So in that respect, or through that mechanism, the cyst can become uh, evident clinically. Uh, another way that cysts can become clinically apparent is if the patient is dealing with polycystic kidney disease and the cysts have replaced enough kidney function where they start noticing the symptoms of renal failure or kidney failure, and those can be decreased energy level, anemia, fluid retention in their lower extremities or their legs, uh, different things like that can, cause, can, can produce symptoms that would make that patient uh, or make the patient's physician look for causes and they may look, eventually look at the kidneys and find cysts. There really aren't any risk factors for what we call the uh, sporadic renal cysts. They're very common, about 10% of adults will develop them. And as far as we know, nothing in their lifestyle or their uh, choice of or consumption of either foods or liquids would increase their risk of developing cysts. There is a potential risk factor for the development of uh, polycystic kidney disease, and that's the genetic factor. Uh, parents are likely to pass that on to their children. So if a parent develops polycystic kidney disease, they ought to make their children, their offspring aware that they could develop it too and they should be uh, monitored for it. In the rare occasion that a cyst does become symptomatic, most of them are asymptomatic, we have options for treatment. If we think that a patient ha is having abdominal pain that's related to a kidney cyst, we can ask the radiologist to put a very fine needle in the cyst and drain the fluid out. Now if the pain goes away with that drainage, then we have one piece of, of evidence linking the pain to the cyst. And what's more important, if the, if the pain returns and the cyst reaccumulates the fluid, then that further links the two. And if that happens, then what I usually recommend is going in and surgically unroofing the, the renal cyst or the kidney cyst. We'll go in there with scopes and actually remove the lining of the cyst so that it can't recur.